Used electric car batteries are being used by, well, many people to put massive batteries at their house. There's often auctions here in Australia. I know there are also in China and in the United States where people are buying electric cars that have just had minor damage for a very small fees. We're talking $5,000, approximately $5,000 US dollars for something like a new BYD seal, which is you know six months old, got involved in a crash, battery's totally fine, most of the car's totally fine. However, individuals are not the only people doing this. In fact, there's actually businesses doing this as well. Even though Porsche, you know, is not really all in on electric, electric cars, it's actually using used EV batteries, uh, along with other factories and facilities and companies, to make gigascale level batteries. I'm talking massive batteries, right? These huge batteries that are just you created from old used EVs. EVs in many cases have probably been damaged and are totally fine. But in some cases, these EVs have been driven quite a long time and the battery packs still work. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Guys, I have personally uh, ordered a, an Xpeng G6. Xpeng G6. Don't know how you say it exactly. And I'll have it pretty soon. And if you want to put in an order, I'll put a link in the description below. You can pre-order. I actually made a video telling people not to pre-order it. That's before I knew the price. Now I know what the price is, around about $60,000 for the long range version. That's Australian dollars, by the way, of the Xpeng G6. Now the comparable car to that, in my opinion, is the Tesla Model Y long range, which is about $13,000 more expensive and in some ways, the Xpeng is much, much better. So anyway, if you want to see my video about that, I'll put a link in the description below. Used EV batteries are finding a second life. This is happening quite frequently. As I mentioned, I have a friend, his name's Paul, really nice guy. He has a BYD uh, and he, I believe he told me he's using a battery from a BYD bus. Now the bus was um, Un disused that had reached the end of his life, the battery is still fine, and he use, he's using that to power his house. It's the kind of thing a lot of people are doing. And now Porsche has given life to use batteries of electric vehicles. They have developed a five megawatt energy storage system from used vehicle batteries. I believe uh, someone's also done, another company has done this with Nissan Leaf batteries as well, even though these are not generally good. They're probably the only batteries you don't necessarily want to buy from a, you know, if you saw a Nissan Leaf for sale, a secondhand one, you probably would go, ah, give me the BOD, give me the Tesla, give me the, you know, whatever. Not the Leaf, but people are doing this though. This system is located at a Porsche sports car plant in Leipzig, Germany, and it's made up of 4,400 individual battery modules. The storage system can be operated at up to 20% overload for short periods. Divided into four battery containers, the entire system, including the battery blocks, is designed for a useful life of more than 10 years. So these are used, used batteries and they can last for more than 10 years. What does that tell you about how long EV batteries actually last? It's a lot longer than what people think. The individual battery modules can be replaced individually if necessary, according to the company. That's the same thing with your EV, by the way. Don't let anyone just say, if you've got an old EV, you know, you can usually get them repaired. If someone says there's a, there's a fault with the battery pack, generally you can get a module or even, even its cells repaired by people who know what they're doing. The system was built out of used Porsche Taycan batteries. Used Porsche Taycan batteries. I'm going to guess that a lot of these were um, warranty issues potentially. There was maybe a battery cell and some of them went dead and Porsche brought them, took them back in. Um, basically refurbish them, replace the cell, that sort of thing. And then they're using them for this power wire. And some of them are probably just from used cars as well. Now they were taken from pre-series and works vehicles and are now being put to use as a stationary energy storage system at the end of their service life. Now, Porsche is trying to tell me that, um, I, guys, do you believe this? They're saying that they have, they, or they had 4,400 pre-series and works vehicles. 4,400. Now, clearly that isn't true. That's, Porsche shouldn't have said that because no one's going to actually believe that. Clearly some of these are warranty recall battery batteries and they're being used for this. But anyhow, it doesn't really matter. I think this is a really good use for those batteries. The four battery strings are individually con connected to an inverter and a transformer in a medium voltage system. And the battery modules used in the grueling everyday work of test vehicles were installed in the energy storage system without 
any technical changes. So they've made no changes to the batteries. They've just been able to connect them all. We wanted to create electricity storage capacity for the Leipzig plant in order to make the site even more economical and to increase its degree of self-sufficiency, said the project manager. He maintained that it was only logical to use batteries from Taycan pre-series vehicles instead of recycling them. He continues to go on saying that they've got 4,400 from pre-series vehicles, and I just don't think that's true. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This big battery works. It uses all Porsche Taycan batteries, and Porsche believe it's going to work for at least another at least another 10 years. And even then, there might be some individual cells and modules that need to be replaced, but they can keep this battery going for probably 20 years. The project will apparently help other Porsche locations with similar systems and capabilities in the future. So Porsche plan on doing this kind of thing at other locations as well. At the same time, we can utilize batteries from test cars that are no longer suitable for demanding use in the vehicle for a second useful deployment before their final recycling. The electricity for the storage system is partly generated by the plant's own solar systems with a peak output of 9.4 megawatts. That's quite a lot of power. So you can see how those 9.4 megawatts of solar panels are powering these batteries. So these guys are basically off grid, like this entire Porsche factory or center, whatever it is, it's basically completely off grid. When peak loads occur, the storage system helps to reduce these loads. The peak shaving is becoming increasingly important in this era of higher electricity requirements, say Porsche, due to electromobility, heat pumps, and other electrical consumers as capped load peaks not only reduce grid changes, but ideally can reduce the need for expanded upstream grids, said the company in a press release. So it sounds like Porsche are using this battery sort of like a Tesla Powerwall, like a, like a mega battery where they can almost be part of a virtual power plant and send electricity back into the grid when the grid needs it. That's what it sounds like to me. Porsche maintained that the stationary battery storage system will be integrated into the balancing energy market in every marketable form by the end of the year. So they've actually confirmed that's true. They are using it like a virtual power plant. So they're using this to generate power for themselves and to make money too. In addition to peak shaving, this includes serving as a grid stabilizer for the upstream distribution grids. The project provides important insights into how to intelligently supply an automotive plant with energy. And it shows you really the future, doesn't it, of basically the entire global energy industry. Why would we use, uh, why would we build new batteries when eventually we won't need to? We'll have a closed circuit. Well, essentially we'll have all these Millions of electric cars, they'll reach the end of their usable life. People will say, oh, I don't want a 15 year old car anymore. Then they'll take the batteries out of them. And some of them will be probably just damaged cars that were involved in crashes. Some would be cars where the batteries were potentially taken back by the manufacturer. And there might've been a fault in that battery somewhere. They fixed the fault. Anyway, they put all these battery packs together and you have a mega battery. This is the kind of the future of energy. This is the future of the energy industry. It's not just the end of your car, your internal combustion car, it's um, no longer running very well, costs too much to fix the engine. What do you do with it? You scrap it for $200. I mean, seriously, they're worth nothing at the end of their life. Whereas an EV is still worth many, many thousands of dollars and it's incredibly useful. Porsche said this, of course, this is about environmental aspects and the core issue of the energy supply in Germany. But it was also important for us to take a pioneering role with the storage system. You know what? Kudos to Porsche. I love this. I love this system. This is the future of energy. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.